Well, here's something cool I found on my local Target store just recently. Now, I'm a big fan of the Netflix series Stranger Things. It's a really cool series. I really enjoy it. And one of the things I like about it in the series is when they visit the Palace Arcade and show all those classic arcade games and everything in there. That's pretty awesome. Well, you know, now Hasbro Gaming has put out this little collectible from the Palace Arcade. It's a little miniature arcade machine that features 20 games. Of the 20 games, we have four classic games, Pac-Man, Galaxian, Dig Dug, Galaga. Then we have 16 additional games that are themed Stranger Things. These are basically like little fake arcade games that have been, the graphics have been changed to represent uh, things from Stranger Things. Like there's a Space Invaders in here, but instead of Space Invaders, it has Demi Gorgon, Demi Gorgons on it. It's kind of cool. It's a neat looking little machine. It's a neat little collectible for Stranger Things, for really into it like I am. The emulation I've seen is not too great on here. It kind of reminds me of the Tiny Arcade line, uh, the way the graphics are and how the games play. But we're going to check it out here real quick anyway. I love the box. It's a great box. Of course, on the back it shows a nice full, screen, full uh, representation of the little arcade machine. And some screenshots of the games right across here. Pretty cool. So let's open this thing up. I haven't opened it up yet. So let's open the box. Slice. All right. I think it should. I think it pops out the bottom. Maybe. Okay. Can Willie figure out how to get into the box? That should have opened that up. Let's try this again. Let's get one here. Uh, get in there. There we go. Yes, monkeys can be taught. All right, so now we pull the machine out of the bottom of the box. Attempt to pull the machine out of the bottom of the box. Maybe. No. Oh my gosh. How did you get this out of the box? Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Got to take this off. All right. Do, 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 do. Little twirly thing. There we go. Okay, that's out. Oh, there's another one in there. Okay, how the heck do you get this out of the box? Okay, what am I missing? Okay, we're going to stop the video until I get this thing out of the box. I finally got it out of the box. Holy cow, what well, that was a pain. But anyway, here's a nice close-up of the unit itself. Got the speaker here in the front. We got our joystick. One action button. Our menu button. And it looks like the little screen here is a Fresno lens, like it's amplifying probably the smaller screen in the back, which uh Further makes me believe it's probably one of the screens out of one of the little tiny arcade units by Super Impulse that they've magnified. Interesting. A nice little marquee right there. On one side we have artwork that features characters from Stranger Things. That's kind of nice. Of course the other side it features characters from the different arcade games. I like this side the best. Pretty cool. On the back we have our on-off switch right here at the top. And we have our battery compartment, which uses our three AA batteries. Pretty cool. So let's look at the little instruction manual real quick. So here's the Stranger Things Palace Arcade instruction manual. Blast back to the 1980s and the world of Stranger Things with 20 arcade games. Actually, it's four arcade games and 16 like little mini games. Theme Stranger Things. Now, one of my buddies, uh, uh oh, I've got his name. He does the logbook.com, uh, ad, I think. Maybe it's ad. Earl. Earl Green. That's sorry. Sorry, Earl. He made the, the notice that this looks like the font and display style, like the old Odyssey 2 
advertisements, which it does kind of remind me of Odyssey too. That's kind of cool. Very simple little manual here, just basically one fold out page. Shows how to put the batteries in, how to play, all that good stuff. So let's put batteries in this little bad boy here. Get my handy dandy screwdriver. And we take the little screw out the back. Do 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 do. Like so. Whoop. All right. And we insert our batteries. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cool. I'm not going to bother putting the battery cover back on the back. Okay. Let's turn it on here and see what it does. Huh. Oh, that's kind of cool. So here we have our selection screen. We select our games. We can turn the volume up high, volume low, or off. I'm going to leave it on low. Pretty cool. So let's see what other games are going here. We have Hopper Hunt, Scoops Ahoy. Babysitter Steve, <laughs> Freezer Jams, Flash Fright, Monster Track, Stranger Skies, Dust and Dash, Bike Bites, kind of reminds me of a snake type game, Steve Stomp, Serp, Drip, Hawking, Hawkins Invasion, that's the Space Invaders like one, Block Blaster, a Breakout, Elvin's, Eleven's Quest, Waffle Blast, Probably like, like asteroids. Polywog Peril. And then we have Galaga, Dig Dug, Galaxian, and Pac Man. All right, let's take a close look at some of the games. Okay. Well, the first game we're going to take a look at, of course, is going to be Pac Man. So let's check this out. Character name, blink, blink, blink. Okay. Yeah, the animation is pretty slow. What is Pac Man? So let's take a look at another game here. Let's take a look at Galaxian. As you can see, the animation is pretty choppy. But it's kind of playable. Okay, check out another one here. Let's check out Dig Dug. Oh my gosh, this is slow. Well, check that out. Once you fire, he won't continue to run until you go back to neutral again. Hmm. I don't really care for that. Hmm. Okay, well, let's check out one of my favorites. Galaga. Stage one. Oh yeah. That looks exactly like the tiny arcade Galaga graphics. It's not real smooth coming in. But, you know, for what it is, it's mainly, mainly a collectible. 
But if you're going to play Galaga, you're going to want to play it on something much better than one of these. I also notice my ship keeps stopping randomly. Ooh, saw some slow down there. Oh! <laughs> we still got a couple of these Stranger Things themed games. I think Hollywood Peril, I'm not sure what that, that might be like a Frogger. Let's do Waffle Blast, that should be like Asteroids. Yeah, that's Asteroids. But your ship doesn't move. You just stay in the middle. Oh, that's terrible. So it's kind of like a cross between Asteroids and Space Zap in the arcade. Mm, don't like that one. Elvin's, Elvin's Quest, no. Block Blaster, that's going to be like the breakout game. I don't care about that. Hawking's Invasion, this is the one that looks like the Space Invaders I was telling you about. <laughs> Holy cow, these guys are kind of brutal at shooting. Let's see, what else? But Syrup Drip, that's kind of like, you know, Connect the Pipes kind of game. Steve Stop, I think that's kind of like a Burger Time almost. Bike Bites, this is the one that's like Snake. So basically, you drive your bicycle around, you pick up the waffles as your bike trail grows. So basically, it's a snake game. What else we got here? Dustin Dash, Stranger Skies. <laughs> kind of like a Defender kind of game almost. So what else we got here? Monster Track, Flash Fright, Freezer Jams, Babysitter Steve, which I think it's kind of like Robotron. Yeah. Kind of like a Robotron game, but it's not dual stick. Oh, score eight! <laughs> and Scoops Ahoy, which is a match three game. Let's see, oh, here's one up here I can do. Bloop. That's kind of wild. Hopper Hunts. We're back to the volume screen. Huh. Kind of interesting. Let's turn the volume off here real quick. Well, for a Stranger Things collectible, it's actually kind of cool. But for something you're going to want to play, not so much. You know, the joystick does work fairly well. Although in some of the games, your character will just stop moving when you hit the fire button, like in Dig Dug, things like that, like that where you have to return this back to neutral and activate again and get to move. Don't care for that. It is some fairly poor emulation. It's got some lag, some slowdown. Graphics are, mm, they're kind of like cell phone, old cell phone type graphics. The Stranger Things themed games are, eh, they're okay. Uh, Space Invaders is one I like probably the most of all of them. But it's still a neat little machine. As you can see, when there's no input, it does turn off on its own. So that's kind of nice as an auto power off feature. Would have been cool if they had that marquee to light up. I would have liked that. Would have made it a little bit more neater. But if you're a fan of Stranger Things, this might be something you want to add to your Stranger Things collection, just to, just to have. Like I said, if you want to play the games, you're better off just doing an emulation on the meme or something like that. Or get uh, some of those other little tiny arcades that work a little bit better. Anyway, that's the Stranger Things Palace Arcade Mini Arcade. Thanks for watching.